Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and today Apple released iOS 10.3.3 Beta 5 to developers and public beta testers. And this update really has nothing new in it, so I wasn't sure if I should make a video. And some of you have asked me to talk about iOS 11 public beta and beta 2, I guess, for the developers. And so I thought I'd do a little bit of that in a quick video to just kind of give you an update and tell you what's going on. So the first thing we can do is at least take a look at the build number. So this is an iPhone SE and I put iOS 10.3.3 beta 5 on it. And we can at least take a look at the build number. There's nothing new in it, but let me tell you what the build number is. And then we'll talk about iOS 11. So the build number is 14G5057A. And I'm not sure why there's more and more betas. There's nothing new in the notes, nothing like that at all. So basically nothing new in this particular beta. We're just waiting for the final, which I would suspect for 10.3.3 in about a week or two. iOS 11 public beta and iOS 11 developer beta 2 are basically the exact same thing. They have the same build numbers and there was a slight update for developer beta 2 that basically brought it to that build number. Not all phones got it though. Everything's seeming okay, but it locks up on me a lot as far as developer betas go and public betas. I've had not so great battery life. I'm doing okay, but it's not great. It's not up to what normal would be considered. We really don't have anything other than a buggy OS at this point. And I think developer beta 3 and public beta 2 will be the ones to use regularly on your main device. But there's not a whole lot more to cover other than that. These are working okay. There's some really nice features all throughout. And I don't want to go into too much because, well, there's just not a whole lot in here to compare between the public beta and developer beta 2. They're the exact same. So that's it for the betas. Let me know what you think about these betas. Are you looking forward to iOS 11? Are you enjoying using it? Or is it something that you find annoying or, you know, it's early now, so it's going to be unstable. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.